How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble and actually this is the fourth video that I'm recording today. It is a review video for FO4. Let's try and move towards FO4 already because I think the game for FO3 is extremely matured. All of you know what you should get in FO3 already. La. So our focus will be on FO4. But once in a while I'll do FO3 review la, if I have time. And today we are looking at an Arsenal legend again. I think this is the is this the second or third Arsenal legend that I've done. We are looking at Thierry Henry. This guy is an absolute legend. Alright, part of the Invincibles during the Arsene Wenger era. And we are going to be analyzing him. So we start off by looking at his stats. Alright, so first thing you will notice about Henry in terms of stats is of course his pace. Like he's very fast. It's 97 spring, 97 acceleration. One of the fastest around already. I think right, other than the legends, only Mbappe PSG version is faster than him. Alright, and agility is high as well. Dribbling is good. Ball control is good. Shot passing is not that good. His finishing is decent, 89. Long shot is also decent and that's very important. Positioning is good, 88. Reaction, 90. Shot power, 85. Volley is 88. And then most importantly, his shot curve is high. We know like he's famous for his finesse shot got very low balance though so that might be a little bit of a concern his headers are decent 80 and he's got good strength to him 82 decent stamina very low aggression and I am surprised by his composure generally Henry is one of the most lethal and calm finisher right? I think this one is because he's the NHD version the debut version so maybe he's not as composed as during the latter years and we know that he's pretty tall 188 cm 83 kg, a small build. Body build is not that important in FO4. And he's got 4 star skills and 5 4 weak foot. Work rate is good as well, high mid. One of the better work rate and trades wise also very good. Okay, he's got the most important one tries to beat offside trap. That's very important. Sharp curling shot also important. Impressive skill. The speed dribbler, okay, and he is a playmaker. This one is quite important for manager mode and prefers chip shot. I actually prefer chip shot, not so good for manager mode. Alright, we will go into the in-game analysis and we'll see whether Henri is worth it. First thing you notice is his pace. He's got pure terrifying pace, okay. I've come out against Henri a few times. Most of the time people use him as a striker and seriously very scary one. Once he starts sprinting, very hard to catch him. He's one of the fastest players in the game and we know like his sprint and acceleration is 97 only PSG and Mbappe is faster than him other than the icons and we know pace is very important for forward so this is a very very important strength he's also got good physical strength to him as well this is a very rare combination okay of pace and power now after the gameplay update weaker players are no longer as effective so last time my TT and Mbappe was very strong very good very slippery but then after the update right he can no longer get past defender that easily they really outmuscle him a lot so in that sense right Henri with his strength and high pace is very effective because he's still able to hold off defender and generally stay in front of them with his pace it's a lethal combination his dribbling and ball control is superb as well because of his unique combination of strength pace dribbling and ball control right it's almost similar to r9 in terms of ability already and he can dribble in a variety of ways so he can do the slower more close control we call it the face up dribbling he can do that or he can do the more direct one pace knock the ball on and just sprint past the defender he can do that as well so it is a nightmare to defend against because he's got a lot of weapon in his arsenal that's so ironic right he's an arsenal player and he's got a lot of weapons in his arsenal anyway his finishing is pretty good as well like we know Henri has a very cultured right foot and his trademark is actually the finesse shot into the bottom corner but most of the time I put him on the right wing and let him do the driven shot from the right but then again if you put him on the left wing right he is still very effective with his finesse shot right another thing I noticed about Henri is how attack minded he is okay he's always trying to make run in behind this one is very obvious one so this is the thing that I like about FO4 like every single player feels different Henri likes to run in behind very very attack minded he's almost like a striker but performs like a winger if you try to get what I mean that's for NHD version okay his main position is winger but he thinks like a striker and that is so good he's also a very decent hitter of the ball so if you look at the review video this current one that you're watching 
he scored all his goals with his header okay but don't misunderstand this and think that oh he is a header kind of guy area kind of guy no he's actually very very good with his speed in fact i score more with his speed than his head it's just a coincidence that for this set of matches i managed to get him to score with his head and his area abilities is not bad because of his height power and general good hitting ability so that is also another very good weapon and then weakness okay he doesn't really have many weakness like if you look at his stats if you look at how he performs in game you can say he is perfect okay but then r9 and gulet has something that he doesn't have so i have to say this and that is his weak foot so for both r9 and gulet they have 5 5 for their left and right foot but for Henri is 4-5 so his left foot is not as good as his right so that is just a little bit of a weakness but then again right, he's pretty effective with his weaker foot as well so overall because of that little bit of weakness I'm gonna give him 9.5 out of 10 or 9.9 .9. he's close to perfect as a forward he's one of the most devastating forward right I say forward because he can play across all forward position he can play as a winger left winger right winger he can play as a forward like left forward right forward or center forward which is the one that i'm using and then he can also play as an out and out striker i got him actually pretty early on in the game probably like two months in and i've never been disappointed since i've been trying to change my left wing from mbappe to stoikov to neymar to now tt bale but my right wing has always been nhd Henri, which is hopefully gonna change soon because I want to go into TT Henri, but Henri is like a must have in the team. So is he worth it 20 million? Definitely, okay. He's considered one of the key pillars in my team. Okay, if you think about it, my team must have R9, must have Gullet, and must have Henri, Vieira and Petit. So it's like the three Arsenal pillars should be in my team. And I will definitely be getting him if we get a server, hopefully by early next year. And to be honest, he's almost the perfect forward in this game, right? So I hope you guys find this review video helpful and buy your NHD on Reese. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my review video. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content. Do check out our Facebook page and Discord as well. The links are all in the description box. And I'll see you next time.